are you the captain of this team? Yes, I am, coach. Well, why don't you take us on to that field? Well, prepare to be Russian fire. Show me the money. Oh! Okay, we've got a live one, people. Just when I think you couldn't possibly be any dumber. And now, Lisa and Drew's five-minute movie review. I am so ready to get back to normal. What I mean by normal is sitting in an air-conditioned room in front of an 80-foot screen where your favorite people come to life. Those were the days. Well, they're kind of back, sort of. My name is Lisa, and I'm proud to sit here with Drew to give you our five-minute movie review. Drew and I are going to tell you our thoughts about certain movies, and instead of rating by tomatoes like some other folks, we are going to be rating by avocados. You either love them or you hate them, but either way, guacamole rules. Stillwater is the movie that we got the chance to see, and I was so excited. The premise of it was a dad who is very concerned about his daughter, who he's estranged from, who gets uh, put away in a French prison for murder, and he's trying to exonerate her from that crime, so he goes to France and gets into all this turmoil and everything that's going on and there's some fights that happen and you know I was full on expecting Jason Bourne when it turned out to be goodwill hunting without the good part I was so not thrilled about that so it was the storyline from his point of view only which was kind of cool because he did really well in that aspect and I will say that but just his point of view we were discovering things as he was discovering things and then that was it there was nothing else and I can't watch a movie like that. I just can't. I want to be entertained. I know it's supposed to make you reflect, but I didn't want to reflect. I go to the movies to enter get entertained. Yeah, I think uh, I was a little disappointed expecting some action. Um, and really, there wasn't as much action as I thought there would be. Uh, the movie was really one-dimensional, one-sided, only from his point of view, and got quickly started uh, with no backstory uh, leading in. Uh, the acting was pretty good. Um, I love Matt Damon overall, and I think he did a great job, but I wasn't too thrilled with the director and how they did the movie overall. I was and, a bit disappointed. Yeah, and then, and you know, the only fight scene that there was, there was only one, and that wasn't cool, because, you know, like all Matt Damon movies, except for Goodwill Hunting and Dogma, and maybe even Jay and Silent Bob, you know, whatever movie he's doing with them, but everything else he's done has been pretty much action-packed. Yeah. So I don't know if it's an expectation that I had that it was another one that was going to be action-packed, but I didn't expect it to be like that. Well, I'm glad that Matt Damon has some range in his acting and was able to mix it up and play a different role, uh, but I just wish there was a little more action or it was, the, the storyline was more dimensional than what it was. Well, yeah, because, you know, knowing exactly what's going on with the daughter and all of that stuff, it, it was like coming in the middle of a story. And I'm like, who wants to read Cinderella from the point of the pumpkin? You know, walking in right as the pumpkin turns into a carriage. Really? That doesn't make sense. Stillwater has some twists and turns, which kept me sort of interested. Um, but then again, I was disappointed by the end of the movie. Overall, I wouldn't recommend uh, paying to see this. No, nope. um, it's just wait till it comes on one of the free channels, and maybe if you're lucky, even with commercials. <laughs> Overall, I'd have to give this movie about two avocados. Nothing major stood out to me. This isn't a, a memorable movie to me, anyway. Yeah, no, and then, uh, mine, I'm at a one and a half because I literally almost fell asleep. And, you know, there was some, a little bit of, you know, soft moments, but I was so disappointed in the movie to leading up to that that I couldn't even enjoy the soft moment. And that makes me sad. So now I'm having a soft moment where I'm going to go get sad and cry because I thought this was going to be better. Maybe next time. So we'll keep you posted. Uh, next movie review we do. We don't know yet because they haven't sent us the invites yet. But as soon as we know, you know. 
And there you go. All right, thank you. Catch you next time on Lisa and Drew's 5-Minute Movie, movie Review. review.